Good morning, people. How are you all doing? Uh, when I start this review, I'm actually extremely sad. Uh, something happened terrible. Uh, this was supposed to be a review of sample review. Yes, not a full bottle review. This is one of my most favorite uh, fragrance houses, even though I don't own anything from it. But I did buy a lot of samples because they're extremely expensive. And I was collecting them one by one because I was trying to see which ones are full bottle worth. They're obviously not going to be able to buy all the full bottles because there are a lot of good ones from this house. So I'm talking about Mason Francis Karchon. And uh, you guys know I have reviewed quite a few ones from the samples. And I uh, did a review on uh, Grand Soir. Uh, this is the evening version according to Sebastian Zara. I really follow his channel a lot. And I got a sample as a gift a few days back from my brother Parvez, Parvez Bhai. And uh, he gave me this one. The Petit Matin, Petit Matan, Petit Matin, I'm not sure which, how, how that goes, but the morning version of it. And guess what? You see, the sample is not here. I used it in the morning and I took a picture just to post. I post every day at the end of the morning in my page, Fracom Bangladesh. And it just, you know, I don't know, this this sample is like, it's not very secure. Uh, this one just went in there and then it just slided out and boom, it fell on the head and it broke. I'm very sad. Uh, even though it's just a sample, I'm very sad because I really love the smell of it, okay? So I'm going to do this review, which I planned, and you're going to see me a little bit sad uh, talking about this. So I really apologize, okay? Showing you a broken sample. I used it on my neck, so that's where it's remained. And uh, the juice, actually, some of it is just, it's just all of it spilled all over my sister's uh, room. And her room smells really good. <laughs> so you can tell the fragrance is really beautiful. Okay, so we'll talk about it. And I really wanted to, anyway, never mind, I'll probably get another sample or whatever. So this fragrance is, I have a lot to say about this. And uh, the fragrance is a release of 2016. And uh, I'm so sorry, Parvis, by uh, your gift, I couldn't hold on to it, right? I'm so sorry. So I will show you a few fragrances. I think this is com like similar to this, but not exactly the same. Okay, and it's a beautiful, uh, fresh fragrance for women and men. It's a unisex fragrance, but it's borderline feminine you know it's like more towards leaning towards feminine side but uh, given that fragrances have no gender it's like free from genders and as well as uh, fragrances whatever you like you just wear okay that's the basic idea um so let's start okay so this fragrance was as i told you released of 2016 it's uh, classified as aromatic green unisex and uh, the official notes breakdowns uh, breakdown is italian lemon Lavender, orange blossom, hawthorn, musk, and ambroxan. So uh, the fragrance, uh, it's like starts off with citrus, a lot of lavender, kind of like a green floral, and ambroxan means it's gonna be not like savage, but it it should have good performance. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Horrible! I won't be able to even show you a sample. Let's just hold it like that. So what you get in the opening. Uh, I get a beautiful, uh, let's smell it from this broken sample, shall we? Okay. What I get from this is the most beautiful opening I got, like a citrus-based opening I got from uh, a fragrance, okay? I have quite a few samples, I have quite a few bottles. I really love the fresh sort of lemony, neroli opening uh, because they give like this beautiful, when you wake up in the morning, you first thing you sniff it, if it's lemon, it just really is nice and pleasant. If you especially are in a uh, hotter climate, okay? If let's say you are in this uh, Asian side, you know, the summer countries, or if you live in even Africa, you know, or somewhere it's very, very hot. Let's say you're in Australia, so the summers are very hot there. So wake up with this, it's a very pleasant opening. Yeah, I know there is, it's, it says Italian lemon and uh, orange blossom, but what I really got to my nose, it smells like Neroli okay and i will be very careful to handle my bottles now i'll be actually terrified because i usually do not break bottles or samples i broke long time ago a bloody chanel and it just slided out 150 ml it broke in the very first day it was a gift and that really hurt bad i have very uh, bad nightmares about that so this fragrance uh reminds me you know a lot of fragrances let me uh say uh, oh i dropped some okay <laughs> Okay, it's in my hand now, nice. Okay, so this fragrance reminds me of a few other fragrances. First fragrance, I don't know why, it reminded me of Mugler Cologne. Mugler Cologne has this beautiful Neroli uh, 
citrus opening. It, it's kind of like a, a designer version of original vetiver. But Petit Matin, you know, doesn't remind me of original vetiver of Creed. It reminds me of this one, Mugler Cologne. That's the one. Second thing it reminds me of uh, also is Ferrari Bright Neroli. Okay. So you can tell the kind of like a direction this one goes to. Okay. Also, 4711 Cologne. Okay. So you can see, I don't own Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Those are in the same line with Neroli Portofino. So I have three other samples. Uh, people say it's similar to Georges of Neo. I have a small sample of it, ran out of it. So I like this, I prefer this uh, plastic samples. I think these are more safer. And uh, let's say another one, I would say it's not exactly the same, but similar to is Chanel Eau de Cologne. I think that's the name, yeah. Eau de Cologne by Chanel. This is the private line. Yeah, this one, it reminds me of. Uh, also, the last one, it's very close to, is this one. This is called Bergamo 22 by Le Labo. I love this fragrance a lot. I uh, Perhaps I'm going to buy the full bottle of it because the Bergamo in this, it's really zesty, really bright and tart. And it's really realistic lemon. Okay, so Bergamo in this is one of my favorite uh, lemon or let's say citrus based fragrances that even though it's a sample again, extremely expensive, but for good reasons. So when I smell Petit Matin, Matan, <laughs> this one, let's say this one. What I really get that opening, it's really fresh. So all those citrusy opening, it's just perfect way to wake up. But it doesn't say, stay citrusy for very long. So with the first nip, this one I did not like the dry down much because it, it goes that towards the feminine territory. And if you do not like the note of lavender, you may not enjoy the uh, dry down of this fragrance. Okay, uh, the fragrance goes a little bit like herb herbaceous, you know, like herbaceous uh, kind of. Uh, I'm not gonna say barber shop, but it, it goes herbaceous, kind of a green, uh, like a touch powdery because of that lavender. And I think the orange blossom, it gives sort of like a powdery effect, right? So yes, if you are not fan of powdery fragrances, it may not be your thing. And it's it kind of like, you know, it's weird. Like when you say powdery, like a, let's say, oh my God, it's terrible. I feel looking, looking at it, it's just terrible, you know? <laughs> so anyway, uh, the, the fragrance the starts off very fresh, like zesty lemon. It goes towards that direction. It, it's not everybody's cup of tea. You know, I'll give you a classic example, like this fragrance right here, Cool Water by Davidoff. It has this uh, kind of a uh, lemon verbena. People say it's similar to green ice tree, but it goes very bitter, sort of a lavender. It goes towards a more coriander, you know, green aspect. So if you do not like those, you're not gonna like the dry down, but the dry down is the most, uh, number of hours the fragrance stays on you so this fragrance overall longevity i got from it it's like four hours you know all together but one hour of mild projection it's not a very big projector but it does last on your skin quite a fair bit in our conditions not the longest lasting like the wood line wood setting mood and other ones but as long as it lasts you're really gonna enjoy it if you like the smell but as i told you if you do not like those florals the lavender kind of like the green aspect powdery aspect from that orange blossom and if you do not like musk, you may not enjoy this fragrance, okay? I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one hour of it a lot, okay? So I think this fragrance actually will serve you well if you live in a hot country and something to wake up with in the morning. And as, uh, like uh, Sebastian says, this is the evening version, Grand Soir. This is the morning version. But absolutely, there's no uh, similarity in terms of smell between these two but I like them conce conceptually what they did. So overall, you know, this fragrance is a really beautiful fragrance. It to suit women more. I'll be frank with you. Uh, I think guys like Sebastian who have beautiful uh, taste and they have persona around you, uh, they're not ultra uber like masculine. They break down the boxes or super harsh. I think this kind of fragrance will suit them more. Sophisticated guys, you know, they read poetry. This is something about Shakespeare lovers. Uh, something like that you hear, the, you enjoy nature, you're soft inside, uh, your heart is uh, very polite, that sort of a person. So women definitely would enjoy this a lot. Uh, is this a full bottle worthy? In my opinion, if you really want to get a morning fragrance, like uh, first thing in the citrus, you know, like, let me show you another one. Like I enjoy Dior Eau Sauvage, the EDT. It has rosemary, it's a little bit different, but it has that lemon rosemary kind of a feel. Uh, I don't know, I sound really sad, right? Yeah, just sometimes, you know, 
you lose people i don't become very sad i, I lose a fragrance it just makes me very sad i sound like horrible <laughs> but you know i love my fragrances so if you like that if you like this uh, feel of uh, low medial cologne you can get some of these in designer also you're gonna get very good uh, sort of feel but if you really want to get like something more natural more uh, easy going less synthetic and you want to pay a uh, premium price you can pay premium price for it i think you can get this these are cheaper than the old line as far as i understand and you can get a 200 ml and you can just it'll be good for at least three four years okay so i recommend it highly but i would not recommend blind buy it's not like bergamo 22 or just it's not just citrus right so the opening is very pleasant but the dry down you have to really check so overall this fragrance longevity i'll give it like uh seven uh, projection i'll give it six it doesn't project much but you can actually enjoy the fragrance and uh, horrible okay so yeah sorry about the messenger hold on yeah usually i turn off the wire uh, phones uh, net and everything but anyway uh the versatility i think it's good for summer and spring uh cold weather i don't think it will last very long but i'm using it as a winter morning scent but our winters are different we have sun the one side other side is kind of cool and the middle of the day we get kind of like hot afternoon afterwards we're gonna get uh like afternoon towards evening it's gonna start getting cold again so our conditions perfect morning scent for you know just enjoying a cup of coffee it's a very poetic kind of fragrance and if you do also like a dear Homme cologne kind of fragrances these are very uh, beautiful, easy to wear fragrance and imagine some uh, green notes and florals with that. Um, but the smell of it, to me, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, like a 10, okay? Smell wise, it's very smooth, very high class, posh, and you can definitely give it a try. Overall, this fragrance, I'm giving it based on uh, what I experienced, I'll give it like an 8 out of 10, okay? It's a solid 8 out of 10, but uh, perhaps I would like that opening top note to last a little bit more but it's difficult because this kind of notes uh doesn't it's not supposed to last very long right so anyway uh, that's my review on petite matin petite matin i'm so sorry i showed you a broken sample but i love this fragrance check it out okay you might enjoy it a lot have a very nice day i'll do another review somewhere down the day all right i'll see you soon Bye bye